Hey, what's up, you guys? Welcome back. Seven Days to Die, Day 8. Day 7 was a nightmare. I died. If you guys missed the last video, check it out. I tried to do some stuff in here, and I got overwhelmed by the bosses. Yeah, the bosses got me. So, there's a church. Looks like there's a, a fair amount of stuff right here. We're gonna just cruise over here. This is actually an area that we haven't been in, so... Let's see what we have to offer. So I, I'm going to keep working toward better weapons, armor, get more ammo. Let's check out this crack a book right here, huh? You got the crack a book? All right. Um, is there anything in there worth getting? Get some zombies! Oh, lady. Big lady! Nothing worth losing your head over. Come on, this is a crack of book. But... I'm not seeing any books. I'm not seeing any books. The whole reason for crack of books... Is books. Bright toilet. Back door locked. One bookshelf? Come on, baby. Give me something good. We need to find ourselves a couple of... Uh... Actually, did we see... We haven't seen a factory yet, right? We went in the one apartment building that we like, and we just kind of bypassed... Dude, this cracker book sucks. Because I died when I got finished with, uh, when I got finished with the, um, Blood Moon. I'm, I think I had skill points and, you know, usually when you do a Blood Moon, you get a fair amount of them. I had, I just picked up a stone. I had one skill point. I had one skill point because I died. It said I lost, like, pretty high percentage of, uh. I think that, that's the big building we went in and found. Yeah, that's where the glitches were happening on me. So we did do that one. I don't know. You should drive around just a little bit. We're still basically in the first town that we spawned. Oh, it came in there and got me? Oh my god. Two of them. I gotta handle business. Dude, they... There's more coming. Three of them. Vultures. It's too far. Oh, that actually, that house over there might be pretty cool. This, um, this passing gas has a, a pretty decent payoff on the roof. So let's hit this one. And after this, we'll hit that, that cool looking house down there. Hey, big boy. It's like a build snipe. All right. I like this one, too. It's it's a pretty good um, maze through here to get through. Man, vultures, man. Start, oh, you know what it is? It's now that I'm past uh, the first blood moon. There's going to be there's going to be a fair amount of new people coming in. Needless to say, vultures, spider zombies. Trying to stay silent with my pistol. That's one of the reasons I really like to use it is the suppressor on it. You can kind of stay silent. You go loud with a shoddy or something, it's on. So we end up going out the back here. After we put a couple nine millies in that dude's head. Right, what do we got in here? Hmm. Actually okay on that stuff now. Take that. 
The old 1.5 bonus damage. We got this, we got this. I gotta get lucky. I gotta get lucky with finding some uh, really top quality guns. I'm thinking I would like, uh, oh, the auto shoddy, right? Auto shoddy, use my sawed off as my door breacher then. And then a better M4 than what I've got. This is where I have to go here. A better M4 than what I've got. Obviously a better, you know, better grade pistol. And if I can find an M60, that would be good. I'm not even really worried about a, a better AK. Because I got rid of my AK in light of the M4. So you just keep searching boxes. Your ammo just builds up so fast. It's amazing. That's the one thing, you know, a lot of games do weird things... This game just, it doesn't, it doesn't like uh, pu uh, punish you with lack of ammo. This is a game of shooting zombies. You need ammo. There's a lot in here. You need ammo. Here, dog. It's up top, I think. Too fast for you. Dude, straight lost his head with a hip fire nine milli. I hear that dog growling. It's making me nervous. Hello. Sexy zombie. All right. We gotta get up there. Usually it's, um, there's a couple of, there's a couple of the, uh, whatchamacallits, the, like, not working stiff, the garage ones where it gives you a lot of car parts. Sexy zombie ladies, they're the best! Where are the ladies at? Take me some vitamins. Alright, we have got to get up here. Where? I'm wondering, I gotta find a place to find some good guns. Now, in there, I think there's like one thing to, uh, why am I not using my regular axe? Should probably swap that over. Cause I even got that wood chopper mod on here. I think this just has like a has nothing in here. Maybe you're supposed to go that way. I don't think it's much of anything, really. Come on, get through. What was that? I just, I'm seeing things now. I think there's a lot of vultures up here, too. Or not. The cowboy and a dog. A cowboy and a dog. All right, this is what I was talking about, the, uh, the passing gas ones. So these things usually have um, some pretty good car parts in them. If you're looking to, if you're get, if you're ready to build like a different ride or something, early on, a lot of bicycle stuff. That's obviously good. Car parts. Working stiff. We got that already. I'm not ready to paint. <laughs> Not looking to paint. Oh, we can sell that and sell that. Nice. 
Got a fair amount of coins. Next time we uh, we go, we'll take that to sell. We take all that stuff just to sell. All right, that wasn't that wasn't that great, honestly. Thought I remember being better. All right, we want to go check out. There's a house right on the other side of that one. No. Yeah. 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 Let's get down off this. Get down off this. <laughs> I really, I can't believe that I died. It's been so long. It's been so many seasons since I died in this game. But man, I'm telling you, I got suckered, man. They pulled me back in. I think that this might be something good. Oh no, it's... No, I thought this was gonna be that Batman house. I think this is just a burnout house. Ah! <laughs> I just spiked myself, man. There's an open door over here. Ouch. Dude, don't spike yourself, whatever you do. Oh. I could actually, like, feel that IRL. Yeah, you know these... These burnout houses, they're not usually that good, but you never, never know, right? A couple AKs to sell, ammo, bathrooms, bookshelves. I want to keep reading those books, man. Those perks really help. They do such weird things, like as you work your way up through the groups of, of perks. They do some weird things. Like, uh, you know, stuff that you don't have access to possibly by just choosing a, a regular perk. Like faster reloading, faster movement speeds, stuff like that. Get down, lady. Look loose in your head over. Try to do the old crouch thingy, but she was. Wow, she's tough. <laughs> she's a tough one. Not so much there. Her sister. Her sister wasn't as tough. All right. I'm. I'm still kind of reeling, you guys, over that. Over that death, man. Man. Can't believe it. I. I'm pretty sure you were able to see that I was running forward, and then they were like. Some force field was pulling me back. It's cool though, cause I never, never had uh, felt that before. Maybe, they, maybe there's a payoff in here. Maybe it's worth the trouble. Is that guy laying in the ground? I didn't see him. All right, there is a little payoff. A bad feeling. That's that's a tarp there. Nice. Dude, that dude could have insta caught me on fire. This is 15 more damage against iron. So if we ever get a pick, we want that mod on there. So those are the mods that run the wood breaker and the um, the iron breaker, right? I almost landed on the same spikes again. Nurse! All right. Let's take a look around. The rabbit, look out for the rabbit. Oh, we got one of those lumber mill thingies. Okay, and then the junkyard. I don't, I don't know. I'm, I was never, I've never been that impressed with these junkyards. Now, if we go out of the corner of this area, I think I remember the map. There was a map that came with this. I think there was stuff up here. Oh yeah, it's all there's a little town up here, and there's water. I don't think I'm in the area that I think I am. There was something possibly special up here. 
Is this... There was one of these crazy government type outposts. This is a military outpost here. Hmm. I don't think I'm... I don't think I am where I think I am, but we're going to check this place out because... This could have some weapons and ammo for us. Remember when you used to be able to sh uh, search the short buses from like super far away? Like you could be like a hundred meters away and search it. So you know what? My I'm getting a little full on loot here. So just really quick, if you don't mind. that until I get get a thingy gotta get the thingy right so it's what's pretty cool is I've been playing a few zombie games lately um, playing some obviously stuff on you always win I played played that zomb piercer game also played Walking Dead 2 and playing this I'm telling you the different the you know it may be like a zombie game but Man, can they be so different, right? Some games, some games treat zombies as like super slow walking Frankenstein looking, you know, uh, uh, give you plenty of time to think and move, maneuver. Where'd that guy go? <clears throat> then there's other ones like this that, dude, you, you better be on it. Like you better be on it and ready to go. They're all around. Bracer, mo oh, fortifying grip. That just does less, uh, less damage. Oh, they're on the outside out there. I gotta get up here. What the? Oh shoot! Look at that. Big old vulture right there. Dang it, I still, I still didn't get enough points to, um, I didn't get enough points to make a better, whatchamacallit, um, my jumping, right? My parkour skills. Is there a ladder over here? My, my parkour skills are really lacking. that you, this would be a pretty safe area from zombies up here if you lived up here if they're not smart enough to like knock down your your support beams down there be up in the air where they can't get to and you could just snipe them out of there there's the payoff in there oh I thought I oh there it is I knew I saw something over here chile it's like to at least eat a little bit of every you know whenever you find Else want to fall out of the ceiling? What do we got, baby? Bullets, bullets. Sellables. This one is the fortifying grip. This modification mainly tool lowers degradation. So, structural brace. There's one. The one I like is the one that uh, doesn't use as much of your uh, stamina on melee. I think that's the best one. If you're gonna add one to anything. Alright, we're looking good. Got some ammo out of it. Not too bad. Not great, but not too bad. Alright, see if we can see. See, there's something over there. I wanna go see what that is. I thought there was something kind of diagonal from there, but I don't remember a lake being here. I do have a I do have like a kind of a generic map for this area. 
but it's it's just showing like squares and you know it doesn't say like what it is it just shows stuff I thought there was something over there I'm gonna get back to her that that music makes it sound like a dog is right behind me like I hear that growling I have two skill points. I must have lost, I must have lost like four skill points when I died because after a blood moon, I mean, I guess I wasn't killing that many. You really need to kill a lot to get the XP. I was killing a fair amount, but having one, po only one point. Oh, okay, so this is, this is something possibly unique here. Military and that the u.s army depot and over there it looks like we have a couple wait a minute dude i did i just drive in here and there could be mines here oh my god i'm an idiot all right so we have that this another one there there's like three different military things here. Now that's good. That means this guy's gotta go. You hear his armor when you shoot him. I just heard a mine go off. I just heard a mine go off and I drove right in here like an idiot. Hmm. Now, some of these, I, we found some when we played this mod that it's like you went in one and you ended up going underground to get into the next one but it was it was obvious that you couldn't get through it was obvious so maybe I'm looking for mines you know me now why is this blown up oh this doesn't look safe <laughs> It's not cloth either. This looks like, look, it looks like it's been nuked or something. Uh-oh. Maybe there's still an active nuke here. This is a really weird one. I thought maybe there, I saw that crate there. I thought there might be a payoff there. Wait, I don't know. You think there's a way? To oh, shoot! I didn't even see them all laying on the ground. I was wondering where all the zombies were. Behind me. And a snake. Ow! Oh, shoot! She is so fast. She must do yoga or something. That soccer mom? She must do yoga because she is the fastest zombie around. Right, screw this. Let's wake up the neighborhood. I mean, you gotta let them know you're here, right? And you start biting you and hitting you and... to come out and look down in there oh oh shoot I almost fell in there you think there's a way down in there I don't remember this facility here when we played I don't remember seeing anything like this this is this is gonna take some time I mean not only do we have this place but we have the the other two or three places over there look at that there's definitely like an underground bunker system here, but try, trying to find how to get down there. There's a bunch of holes. We need like a ladder that we can go down and get back up if we need to pull. 
Oh, headshot. Oh, this is a. I th this is like some kind of guard gate. I thought this was the. Oh, it's so dark. This is definitely like a missile silo building. Oh, jeez. You see all those guys come to life? Wait, I should let them pound those doors open for me. You guys, make yourselves useful. Pound the doors open. Yeah, I think this was a missile site that got hit during the apocalypse. Oh, so these guys aren't, aren't very useful after all. <laughs> Nurses! <laughs> What's in the poppin' pills? Okay. You never know. For, we could always use a super good first aid kits. Or antibiotics. All right. I know I'm skipping a lot of the stuff that you guys know is good, but I know what I need, I know what I want. I know what I need, I know what I want. So these guys didn't wake up when I was right there shooting an M4, huh? Okay. No suppressor on the M4. There's the yoga lady. She does hot yoga because for a soccer mom, she gets out of her minivan and she is hauling some serious butt. I saw that. I saw that. Oh, don't lock it in. Okay, there's a little bunker right, I mean a uh, bunkhouse right there. A bunch of military dudes coming out. Dang, you can hear it just bouncing off that armor. Wait, right, you guys done? Are you, are you done? Does that look like a hatch right next to it? Maybe a hatch? Shotgun shells. Oh, dude. There, there's no way to pick it either. That definitely looks like a hatch that would go down to where I need to go. What a bloody, a bloody t-shirt? Who put, put it in the laundry, man? No wonder these guys all turn into zombies. They don't have basic hygiene. Oh, come on. You gotta give me something when I find a Shaka Messiah box. Shaka Messiah. Alright, let's go check out the bunkhouse. You all good? So those dudes were all in... All of them, huh? I mean, yeah, I could bash it open, but... I think they know I'm in here. If they do, they're gonna hit me in the back before this thing opens. Like I said. Alright. Take those. Take two of these and call me in the morning. Doing on food. Pears will give us a little bit of both. And so will the chicken soup. So we'll just, you know, it's nighttime. There's nothing wrong with taking a little break at night to eat some food, check out the scenery, figure out how the heck to get down here. All right. This is like the radio tower. Oh, it's the kitchen. Look at that. That's a way down right there. Except it's blocked, and that thing is probably. That thing is probably. Um, 2000, and I would have to clear. Well, actually, if I did one here, I could just drop down in there. I need to get a pick. This thing is useless now. 
Well, it's always useless, you know? You always want to pick. There's got to be a way down there that's actually open. <laughs> Through the silo, maybe? Lumberjack doing in here. Maybe through the silo. Door's unlocked. Oh, shoot. Wait, there's a ladder right here. Okay, that missile has not gone off. Who's growling? Somebody left their ammo pile just chilling here for me. Appreciate that. Oh, these are all missiles. Oh, shoot! Oh, they were up there on that catwalk. I think I want to be up there. These are all missiles. Oh, look what we got here. Come on, lockpick. Well, not only come on, lockpick, come on, something delicious in here. Something, I don't, you know, I'm not even asking for anything specific. Just something absolutely tasty. Not that I can eat, that I can shoot. Suppressors and that, and this, and this, and this. It's all right, I guess. <laughs> Let's see if we can find another way out of here. Look at this. This is the missile room. And this is the room that's blinking that you can see out of every every hole. Wow, that is that is some It's right there is where it's. Is it that light right there? That is one super duper bright light. Oh my god. in there this guy oh he's got friends all right so there's a destroyed workbench here and there is a chemical thingy here. Oh, nice. Nice! This is an interesting... Look at this, so... All these buildings... Oh, it goes down... E oh, wait. Yeah, I was down farther, right? All these doors, these blast doors... Bathroom? What's behind this one? What do we want? We want the good stuff, like this one. That's not good. Now this stuff, I think this is the stuff, yeah, it turns into furniture and toilets and look, so, it's kind of set up here like someone took refuge because you got the, the chem station, the workbench, you got a forge. You got these sealed doors and everything, but maybe, uh, you know what? This one might just be better than this, so. Oh, I, I left the, uh, never mind. I put the, I put the, um, thingy in the, in the van, my, uh, breaking iron mod. Okay. Oh, that one's better, right? It's a cement mixer up there. They kind of set this up like there was survivors here or something. I don't know. I hear dogs. I'd love to know what's on the other side of that door, but... 
There's the missile silo. That might just... Oh, everything's green in here. The people that were inside there is like, what? What's wrong? Everything's fine. Uh, not exactly. It's pretty cool uh, in a way that you, like, when you start shooting an unsuppressed gun or something, that you're not actually waking up all the zombies, because if they all came at once and you did one big, one big, you know, fight, then the whole place would be cleared out. You, you want to... You won't have to battle your way through here. There's one of the areas that we look down. I don't think I don't think we're gonna be able to get out any other way than that that ladder back there. Cause these are the these are the ways that we are looking down. This is it's definitely an interesting one. It's kind of weird, you know. It's there's not a whole lot of substance to it, but I, I like its I like its thinking. All right. Well, we've got at least two possibly three other um military type depots here <laughs> do, 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 do. <laughs> oh shoot don't fall down in there i was making a joke on the live stream i got a message from legacy Apparently it was about a game called My Summer Car, and I thought, I read it, and I thought um, he was saying, hey, you want my summer car? I'm like, why the heck would he want to give me his car? And so that was the big joke. He just sent me a message right now. He says, so you sure you don't want my 64 Barracuda? <laughs> I'm thinking, uh, yes, I do. Thank you. I'm a huge fan of muscle cars, man. Huge fan. All right, this is good stuff, you guys. Do you like you guys like muscle cars? I was always like, I don't know, it, it didn't really matter. I wasn't, when it comes to that stuff, I wasn't like brand specific. It was about the classics, right? The 69 Camaro, right? The, the, uh, the Ford Mustang Fastback, you know, Eleanor. It was like the Chargers and the Challengers and the Cudas, the Hemis. Dude, just that rumble of V8 power is so cool. Nowadays, if I'm following one, I can you can smell all the raw fuel coming out. Like, oh my god, that stinks! But a really good a one that sounds good with the good exhaust and runs good. Oh, they're just so mean. They're just so tough. I love them. Anyway, you guys, that's gonna do it for me. When we come back next episode, we've got. Look, it looks like it goes up there, so we may have a pretty, pretty good size one here, and something there, and possibly on the other side there. And we're getting close to these mountains here, so should be interesting anyway you guys hit that like buto join me next episode thanks for watching